like being an AA. What? Um... My friends ask me, like, how's your marriage going? It's one day at a time, man. I didn't say anything wrong today, but I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Hi, my name is Adam, and I'm a married man. It's been six months since my last decision. I felt the urge to have an opinion the other day. But... Thank God my sponsor came over, and we sat down till that feeling went away. What is up, everybody? Video Addict here, and I've got a box from Barrel and Blade. Let's get into it. I am excited. Uh, it's that time of month again, and I'm behind, of course. What else is new? I think everybody's kind of figured it out by now that James ain't getting nothing up on time. I try, but then life happens. You know, that thing that happens. Life. All right, open up the box. This is what you're going to see. Of course, Chris is making as much noise as she possibly can during the video. That's one of those things I shouldn't say, right? All right, there we go. There's the card. Box contents. I am a level two, and I have one, two, three, four, five items. They are different a little bit. This one's the same. That's the same. That's the same. In the box level one, there's a knife sharpener, is all it says. But there's no knife sharpener in this. All right, first thing we'll start with, I like to start with the lowest valued item first, just, just because, that's me. Uh, the first thing is the Wombat Whistle Vial Kit from Outdoor Element. All right, this, Looks like it's a uh, a whistle, and it holds fire tender. Bam. In the top part of it, up here. See? It's gonna be like right there. Bam. That's pretty cool. It's got like a little fishing, like a fishing line connector on it. <laughs> you know? That's crazy. Aluminum, lightweight and durable, great for storing tender. 115 decibel emergency whistle, whistle o-ring for watertight seal, swivel clip uh, for easy attachment. And I, those things are not, it, it may attach easy, but you ain't getting it off. It ain't like easily switch out kind of thing. Uh, the tender fire tabs designed to work with our EverSpark wheel, which I believe is in here. Also works with matches, lighters, and ferro rod strikers. I would hope that it would catch on fire with a lighter if a spark will do it. It just makes sense. Burns for one to two minutes. Made of treated cotton fibers. Uh, spread the ends and place spark next to the fine cotton fibers to start the fire. All right, there you go. A whistle with storage. The Wombat Whistle. The Wombat Whistle Vial Kit. Let me be specific. $5 value. I think that's awesome for $5. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. That's not bad. That's actually, I give that $5. Next up is going to be your Fire Beaner. <laughs> the Fire Beaner Multi-Tool Fire Starting Carabiner. Uh, these things are awesome. I, I, I love these. I've had them before. I don't know where they're at. Your guess would be as good as mine because I, I literally don't know where they're at. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're somewhere in the boxes that I just moved out there to my shop. Bam! Fire beater. I love the fire beater, okay? This is a hundred pound, pretty much that's what it's going to hold. Uh, you got your little clip here, obviously. You have a seat belt cutter in there, a little blade. 
You can kind of see it there. And you could probably double that as a can opener, bottle opener. And then you have a flathead screwdriver right there on the top. And you have a couple of little lanyard holes or something there. And then of course you have your fire wheel. And I bet we can start that fire with those. I'm not starting fires inside of my house, so don't ask. This is something that I always lose. Is the I, I know this for a fact. That's why it's so funny because I was like, oh shoot, that's one of those. Because they have replacement striker ferro little things in there, and I always lose this packaging. <laughs> Because, I mean, who keeps up with that? But now that I got a shop and I got a bunch of little things I bought at estate sales with little drawers everywhere, I can take those and I can store them in them drawers and I can label them. They remind me to get label making ribbon and paper. Note to self. <laughs> or note to my wife. <laughs> there you go. I love the fire beater. I think it's cool. You know, it's just fire beater. Very neat. And I like the color, blue. It's like a blue, bluish color. Next up, they give that a $15 value. That's fine. I, I do like it. I think it's a little bit expensive, but I do like it. Uh, let's see, the next item is the, is it Flitz? Flitz Tactical Gun Knife Care Kit. All right. So I've heard about this before. I forget where we've gotten it before. But inside you have the Flitz Tactical Matte Finish Cleaner. Removes fingerprints, oily and waxy residue, water spots, dirt, and other impurities. Will not leave a shine, will not remove bluing, will not remove parkerized finish. Environment friendly. It's green. Next up, we have the Extreme Gun, Knife, and Bow Protectant. Up to one year protection, uh, gun, bluing, all metals, fiberglass, gun and bow wraps, wood stocks, glass scopes, flat mat, uh, plastic holsters, all that stuff. Water resistant, heat resistant, colorless, non-abrasive, safe for cold bluing. Safe on cold bluing will not gloss or shine flat matte finishes or wraps. Very cool. And then last but not least, well not last but I guess, is we have, let's turn it to the English side, metal, plastic, and fiberglass polish plus paint restorer. Anti-tarnish formula, lasts up to six months, works fast. Little tube of that. And then you have your little cleaning pad. Or cleaning cloth. Very nice. Has a little thing here. You can clip it onto a bag, hang it on a hook in your shop, wherever you do your, wherever you do your knife and gun stuff. Your knife and pew pew stuff. I like this. I have a lot of stuff that needs to be cleaned always, but this is very, very useful to have. And I've heard really good thing about the flits. And they're giving that a $29 value. All right. Uh, next up is from Kershaw. The Kershaw Tehran 50, kind of. It just looks different. Flipper. Ooh. Thought there was something on the blade here, but it's just like an indent that they've kind of 
come up with there. I just thought it was like something on the blade. But there you go. Oop. Jimping is okay. The lockup seems good. No play. Line, uh, frame lock. Right there. I got the Kershaw assisted opening thing going on. Pocket clip is reversible for tip up carry. It's not bad, it's it looks cheap, you know. It just looks like something you'd see in a gas station with the design on it. Oh well. <laughs> just not very functional today with my modeling. But yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's just a little bit just weird. It's sharp as heck. Most Kershaws really are sharp when in the beginning anyway. So I give it that. Centering is perfect. It's all good. Uh, it's small, you know. I can pretty much close it up in my fist, but I have very big hands. Mm. Deep carry pocket clip. I didn't mention that. Uh, I mentioned the pocket clip, but I didn't mention it was deep carry. Uh, 3.125 inch blade maintains the sleek profile, while a strong tip also provides durability during work tasks. Detailed machining on the handle and backspacer create a unique, cohesive aesthetic, rounding out this complete package. Oh, yeah. I, I did a little design on the back spacer too. Just kind of like the stuff they got going on. That is the Kershaw Tehran. T-E-R-R-A-N. They're giving that a $59.99 value. I don't see that as a realistic. You can probably find it cheaper. Uh, it's just, it doesn't look like a, a knife that you're going to go out and it's $59.99. You go, I, I, I want that knife for $59.99. <laughs> I, I just I don't see it. I could be wrong. Last but not least is from or is the Snug Pack Jungle Bag, a seventy nine dollar value. Wow, Jungle Bag. into this thing. We go to extremes, snug pack. Under penalty of law, this tag is not to be removed except by the consumer. The Snug Pack name combines the two passions, keeping you warm and providing compact products. A passion that started in 1977 when options for lightweight sleeping bags and clothing were limited and the affordable kit available was bulky and heavy. Snugpack used its expertise to develop the exclusive insulation called Softy, uh, which gave birth to the first affordable lightweight sleeping bag and our strapline brand in the hand. Snug pack innovation into the lightweight market continues. We're the world leader in lightweight and technical products. Check out the full journey here, snugpack.com slash timeline. Weight is 32 ounces. Outer fabric is micro diamond. Inner fabric is Paratex antimicrobial. And insulation is travel soft. Uh, length is 87 inches, which is actually pretty good. For me, 
chest width 31 foot width 31 so this is gonna be square or a rectangle which is good for me I'm not if you've watched other videos you know that I'm not a fan of the mummy packs so let's let's look at this thing I don't know I'm all interested Lord have mercy However, while well, I get it back into the bag. <laughs> Alright, let's just back up. <laughs> Woo -hoo. The jungle bag. Alright. Let me take let me take the cracks off. Got like a little mosquito net face thing like there in the front you can like zip it up over your head like if you're out in the jungle so you can be completely enclosed and you don't have to worry about it. Ah, shit. <laughs> Let me fall over here. on camera 87 inches is pretty good it's pretty tall I would like to now bring in my lovely assistant. That would be you. Come zip me up. You can bring the dog out. It's a little snug, but it is called the snug pack. You got the other zipper to the net is over here. Don't mess it up. I just got it. I'm not. It's just the, the thing you get stuck. There. You did it wrong. And there you go. This is a really a snug pack. Like with my arms down inside of it, I'm like, I'm right up against it. I mean, I ain't going nowhere. But it is actually pretty warm in here. Luna! Arr, arr. What's your daddy doing? <laughs> Luna, she look at it. She ain't bothered. She's going to play with your shoe. All right. So I might not want to like be completely good though. So. Can you do it yourself, or does somebody have to do it? No, to do it? I just I brought it in so because I knew it was going to be a little snug. The net thing over See, there. See, so. if I if I did this right here, I'd be good. You know, but it defeats the purpose of the jungle back. Then again, I'm fat and I'm overweight, so. But I do like it. I I love the fact that it's lightweight like that. It's long enough, not quite round enough. <laughs> Somehow squeeze this thing back in this bag. All right, it's not as pretty as they did it, but I got it in there. The Snug Pack Jungle Bag. I actually really do like this. I don't need all that space up there. There we go. Snug pack, jungle bag, I actually really do like this. It's a very nice bag. I love the lightweight nature of it and how small and compact it is. So, very cool. 
and that's it. That's the box, man. I, I like it. Uh, I like the little wombat whistle thing. The fire beaner, I love. The flitz is pretty good. The snug pack is awesome. I actually really like this. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but I do need to dye it, so it'll be all right. And it'll get me by in a pinch. I mean, so what if I'm like this? This is the only thing I'm not a huge fan of, the Turan. Uh, I do like that we got a knife. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of the design of this. You know, it's, it's a good sharp knife and it is what it is. Uh, it's just really not my flavor, I guess, <laughs> for lack of a better word. It's just not my thing. Uh, other than that, I, I can't, I'm, I'm very happy with the box. I love the, I love the, the snug pack. It's actually very nice. I mean, aside from being just a little snug. Everything else, great. I'm very excited, but in the end, it only matters what you think. So tell me what you like, tell me what you didn't in the comments below. Like, share, comment, all that fun stuff, and subscribe. I'm out.